Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today I want to take a look at the Conklin Crescent. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have the Conklin Crescent Collection, and on the left are the two newest members of the collection. We have orange and red, and then we have classic black with rose gold trim, and then on the right we have the Mark Twain Limited Edition clear demonstrator, uh, which we'll, we'll look at closely in a second. But these are, boy, if these aren't true to form to the, the original vintage pen, I don't know what is. They really did a nice job. You can see there they have chasing on them, just like an original black chased hard rubber pen would. You can actually feel it as you rub your finger across it. Um, they look like a, a red hard rubber or an orange hard rubber pen really really a neat uh, a neat vintage inspired design um, the pen's got a really great clip as you can see here you can press down and it's got quite a bit of travel this makes it easy for if you're putting it in your shirt pocket you can just grab it and put it in it's one-handed operation you don't have to some clips you have to kind of grab and pull up uh, some clips you can just slide in there but this one just real super easy just Put like that, and you're done. Nice spring clip there. Um, cap band, Conklin. On the back, you've got Mark Twain's signature. You can kind of see that. And the reason Mark Twain is, Mark Twain called this a, a sanity saver uh, because of the crescent here, and we'll talk about the crescent in a minute. Uh, the pen doesn't roll off the desk. So Mark Twain was a spokesman for, for Conklin uh, for a while. So these are nice. Uh, you've got the rose gold trim, a little bit different trim on every one of them here. Rose gold, yellow gold. You've got kind of a nickel plated trim there. Let's take a look at the clear. This gives us a little better understanding of the workings and, and how a crescent filler works because we can see everything. And I'm going to open it up here. And you see we've got this this is the crescent here, and then we have this what's called a lock ring. Now the lock ring has a little slit in it right here. And what you want to do is you want to slide that till that's underneath the crescent. And as you can see inside the barrel here, we have a silicone sack. So this pen is a true, what they would call a self-filler. Um, and you line those two up. You press down and the crescent has essentially a built-in pressure bar which compresses the sac, if we have this in ink, expels the air and the ink is sucked into the sac. And do that a couple times. And then when you're done, you just rotate the lock ring one way or the other until it's kind of tight. And this can't accidentally engage if you put it in your pocket. There's no way that's going to that's gonna trip. Uh, kind of a cool, cool design. Uh, very fun to work with. I've repaired many of the vintage Conklins. Um, and this pen comes with options for fine, medium, or stub nibs. The fine and medium uh, nibs have a two-tone uh, finish the word Conklin in the middle is uh, gold plated Toledo USA the stub is uh, all single tone steel 1.1 1 .1. uh, no broad nib available apparently uh, a couple years ago Conklin discovered that more people were just skipping broad and going straight to the stub and the stub was a very popular nib option so they discontinued the stub. But uh, nice pen. It posts. Uh, it's got a decent posting length. Um, it's a little bit, a um, little bit heavier pen, but uh, it's it's full size. There is no there's no small size. You can it's decent size if you want to use it unposted. And there's a couple different various ways uh, or points that you can. You can line up the, the crescent, so if you get it just right, 
You can line it up with the clip. You can line it up to the side so it sits easier in a case. But uh, it's a really cool, cool filling system brought back from the olden days. So there you have it, the Conklin Crescent. Be sure to check us out online at AndersonPens.com, in the store, or at any of a number of pen shows nationwide.